for the PIJ assignment, I was assigned to do the lesson plan for our video. So I just want to share a few different activities that can be done that affect or that show uh, PIJ's cognitive development theory. In the first stage, which is the sensory motor stage, it's when children are from birth to about 16 months, it's when a child's senses really start to develop and their motor skills. Um, they learn about object permanence, which is where if there is an item and you take it away, they understand that it's still going to be there. Um, a great activity in this stage, I think, would be to let children play with Play-Doh. It helps them mold different things. Um, it really does stimulate a lot of their senses. They smell it, you know, that distinct smell of Play-Doh. They get to touch it, they get to see it, and they get to kind of mimic what everybody else is doing or just create their own thing. So I think it's a great idea. Uh, the way that you can really get this activity going is to start off with playing Play-Doh yourself. Gets the kids kind of interested, you know, and then they think, hmm, what, what can I make out of this? So. That's a good way to start it off. Uh, for the second stage of Piaget's Cognitive Development Theory, it's the pre-operational stage. This is where language and cognitive development takes place. Children start to use their words and then figure out how to turn them into actions, which is really neat. I think a good way for teachers to encourage development in this stage would be to do a lot of group play and then doll play with dolls. The imitation play is really good because they can kind of do grown-up activities like working in a kitchen, kind of playing house by having the roles of mother and father, so this is neat. And then also with dolls, it's, it's a great way for them to learn through imitation. You know, they learn about their body, they learn kind of about talking, you know, how they kind of talk through their toys, so it's a neat time, but it's, it's good to make sure that you have lots of different options for them. And also Legos, I think, is really neat in this stage. Um, they get to learn how to make all kinds of different things. It can be creative, kind of make little cities, little houses. So it's neat for them. And then the third stage of this cognitive development theory is the concrete operational stage, during which this stage children learn about abstract ideas and then they kind of turn them into um, concrete principles. As a teacher, I feel that a good idea to do with children at this age would be to have them make a family tree. Not only are they understanding the concept of a tree, kind of the branches, the leaves, the, the trunk, everything, but they also understand how their family is categorized. You've got your grandpa, the dad, the grandson, great-grandson, and you can kind of branch off to aunts and uncles and everybody. So they, they're learning two different things at once. So I thought this was pretty neat for this stage. And that's my video. Thank you.